Hello and welcome to a GP50 video on how to measure liquid level. There are various technologies and devices available to measure liquid level in countless markets and applications. And GP50 features such a device that utilizes hydrostatic head pressure to provide accurate level in your tank, weir, or well. These devices function on the same principle of a pressure transmitter by measuring static head pressure. Hydrostatic level sensors use the principle of head pressure. The formula shown provides the pressure range required to measure the depth in a specific tank or well, where head pressure is equal to the density of the liquid times the height of the fluid column or depth in the fluid where the pressure is measured. To calculate head pressure, you need to know the measuring depth, typically measured in feet or meters of water, and the specific gravity of the media you are measuring. Utilizing a submersible level transmitter, the transmitter is lowered into the tank or well by the connected cable down to the bottom or just off the bottom of the tank or well floor. The distance from the sensor's face to the top of the liquid is the total water column head pressure you will measure. For example, if we have a tank that is 10 feet tall and is filled with water, using the formula of head pressure equaling 1 times 10 feet, the water column is a hydrostatic depth pressure of 10 feet of water column. GP50 can provide a level transmitter calibrated in feet of water, meters of water, or any other alternative engineering unit, or we can provide you units calibrated in pressure such as PSI or bar. To convert from feet of water to PSI, we use the formula PSI is equal to 0.433 times feet of water column. For example, 10 feet of water column times 0.433 equals 4.33 PSI. The level transmitter would have a calibrated range of 0 to 0.433 PSI. When the well is full, the unit reads 20 milliamps, and when the well is empty, it reads at 4 milliamps and provides a linear reading at all the different depths of the water in the tank. If you are measuring a fluid that has a different specific gravity, such as oil, you need to find the specific gravity and calculate your total head pressure. Using our example above, if the specific gravity was 0.9 and the depth is 10 feet, head pressure would equal 10 feet times 0.9, giving a water column head pressure of 9 feet. Converting to PSI would equal 0.433 times 9 feet water column, equaling 3.89 PSI. The level transmitter will then be calibrated for a 0 to 3.89 PSI range and provide a full scale reading of 20 milliamps when the tank of oil is full. This example uses a submersible level transmitter. However, you can also install a pressure transmitter outside the tank wall via a feed-through fitting at the base of the tank. Once the transmitter's process port is installed on the feed-through line, it will sense the head pressure in the same way the submersible transmitter does and provide a head pressure reading. At times, the level in a pressurized tank is also required. A pressurized tank is used where the fluid has a blanket of air, nitrogen, or other gas on top of the liquid level. This blanket pressure may be used to help assist high viscosity fluids out of the tank or used in liquefied gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, or other gases that create a high pressure blanket when in a liquid state. In order to determine the level in a pressurized tank with a hydrostatic type transmitter, a differential measurement is required. The sealed pressurized tank will exert a head pressure due to the depth of the fluid as well as add the blanket pressure that is on top of the liquid. For example, if a tank is 20 feet tall and there is a 1000 psi pressurized gas blanket on top, putting a hydrostatic level sensor at the bottom of the tank would measure the 20 feet of water column as well as the 1000 psi of blanket pressure giving you a combined pressure of both the liquid and gas blanket. In order to subtract the gas blanket pressure from the liquid level pressure, you need to know the gas blanket pressure. In order to do this, you can use a differential transmitter and plumb the high side to the bottom of the tank and the low side to the top where the gas blanket pressure is located. The differential pressure transmitter will measure the gas blanket and liquid level on the high side. The low side will subtract out the gas blanket pressure. 
In the example shown, you would need a differential pressure transmitter with a range of 0 to 20 feet of water and that can handle 1000 psi of line pressure. As the liquid level changes depth, the transmitter will sense this and if the gas blanket pressure changes, it will also cancel out in your total head pressure readings. There are other types of devices to measure level, but if your specific gravity is constant and your media compatible with the material options of a hydrostatic level transmitter, they are typically less costly, yet very effective. For more how-to videos, check out our YouTube playlist that covers topics such as how to hook up a 4 to 20 milliamp loop or how to troubleshoot a pressure transmitter. Or check out our resources page at gp50.com.